901. <laughs> Good evening, guys. How are you? How is everything? Oh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Saul. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Hey, great microphone that you have over there. Very lightning. <laughs> Thing. Uh, good to see you. I'm very happy to be here. So, okay. Uh, Sylvia, how are you? Isaura, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. I am good. You. Yes, thank you, Isaura. Good for saying. Uh, Sylvia, Natalie, Daniela, Ruth, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good. Okay, I will ask you to, I've been asked guys to ask you at the same time that you help me with the, with the, with the, uh, with the microphones, I mean, with the cameras, please. Remember that even though you're on the end of the line, so it's, it's like more uh, familiar uh, to be seeing each other's face. Even though I haven't shaped today, <laughs> even though. Okay, so are you ready for a new class? Hey, great. Are you ready, guys? We're ready. Okay. Yes. Good, excellent. What was the topic that we, we were studying yesterday? You remember as, as, who can he uh, give back uh, feedback uh, about the topics yesterday? Uh huh. Relative or, pronouns. Relative pronouns. Uh, yes, relative pronouns. And which ones are there? Which ones are they? Others. Okay, which ones are the relative pronouns? Who and that. Who and that. Okay, so who and that. Remember that here we are using who and that only for people, okay? But you can use that for uh, things or places or animals. So people, things, or things. And who only for people. But here is a who and that and people, okay? So, for example, we say, uh, what, uh, Brad Pitt is an actor who has made a lot of uh, action movies. Mr. Lopez is a teacher who uh, teaches English, okay? Uh, uh, Isaura is a student who's taking English lessons right now, you see? Or Isaura is a, a student that is taking um, is taking English lesson right now. So when you use this one, you can use uh, either way, the simple form or the the continue. It depends on the content uh, intonation. Okay, so we're using who and that, and also we were using, what else? It and when. It and when, yes, exactly. So we were using it and when. Do you have any, uh, for example, how, what can I say in using it and when? Give me an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Okay. Oh, by the way, have you worked on, on the platform, guys? Have you done the exercises over there? Have you worked on the platform? Yes or no? <laughs> no. I'm working today, but I had a problem. Uh-huh, what was it, Glendy? 
uh, with an um, exercise. Mm -hmm. I try many ways, but I al always get wrong. Ah. Were you writing over there? Were you typing uh, words? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you had to take an account. Maybe it was uh, it happened, and this is and this is very common. And uh, thank you, Glendy, because it will help for uh, for the rest of the students. It, it happens. It's very common, not just in this platform and all platforms that I have worked with. So if you do not follow the the right, for example, remember that at the beginning of the sentence we use a capital letter or a uppercase. It's called uppercase letter. And if after a period, if you don't use uh, a, a capital letter or uppercase letter, it's, you will get it wrong. You have to follow the, the, the things over there. If it is a question, you have to, uh, uh, to type the question mark. Maybe uh, be careful on that one, okay? You have to follow the, the correct uh, writing. Even though it's in English, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Maybe happen, maybe not. Okay, but let's try again and, and let me know. Okay, uh, it's important that you work over there, um, uh, uh, guys, because um, uh, it's important that you work over there because if you have any issues, I mean, not issues with the platform because uh, so far it's, 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 I think it was working good. And any questions about the topic, so please feel free to stop me or the beginning of the class. Hey, Mr. Lopez, I wrote this one and this one, something is wrong. Maybe if it is not to microphone, but you can do it to chat. I, I try to pay a lot of attention to, to the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, check that on the England. That's happened and that's normal. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys, so today, um, but please, uh, please help me with your cameras. I am running through them. Okay, I can see that you had it. I can see Isabel, Silvia, no, Silvia is the picture, Francisco, and uh, Natalie, good. Because I always keep running through the cameras. Claudia, David, Isaura, good, excellent. Okay. So yesterday uh, we didn't check this one, um, uh, and I asked you to to do the exercise. It was on your worksheet. Today I don't have a worksheet for you, but uh, did you finish? I love it. I can stand it. It makes me happy. It bothers me. It it embarrasses me. I really it really upset me. I don't like it, it doesn't bother me, I don't mind it. For example, in the first one, what would you put? There were different answers, don't worry. When someone gives me a compliment on my clothes, oh, how nice are those clothes, I like them. What would you use at the beginning? It's make me happy. It made me happy, one possible. Good, Isaura, thank you. Another possibility? I love it. I love it, yes. Only two of those possibilities because the others are kind of, okay. Yes, I love it. I didn't write the answer over there because there are possibility. Um, uh, someone else, when people are direct and say what's on their mind, how, uh, what would you say at the beginning? Maybe I can stand it. Okay. Um, when uh, I can stand it with people like direct, are direct and say what's on their mind. Does it sound good? Yes or no? Uh, for me, I, I, it makes me happy when the people are direct and say what's on their mind. Ah, okay, it's because of matter of opinion. But at the first one, like I say, yes. But at the one that you say, it's okay. Okay, because it's a matter of opinion, okay? But, uh, and what about the next one? We're not going through everything of this one because of the time that we have. Uh, when someone corrects me, 
corrects my English in front of others. I don't mind it. I... Embarrass me. <laughs> and it's embarrass me. Okay, you don't mind it because you say, oh, okay, Mr. Lope corrects me in front of everybody, but uh, it's for um, my good. On my own good. That's the way. Yeah. And the other is embarrasses me. Okay. Yes, it's a matter of opinion. And, um, but Mr. Lopez would not do this. Have you noticed that uh, when you say something, I try to repeat it, but not immediately. I guess I did one um, the night before this one, but um, I try not to do it immediately. If you are paying attention, you say, oh, I say like that. And Mr. Lopez is saying like this. Okay. Uh, and uh, so I will not say, ah, oh, uh, Mikey, Mikey is my son. Uh, you say it wrong. <laughs> In fact, okay, so it's my son. So <clears throat> I would not do that one. On the last one, when, uh, uh, well, five, and then I'm sure you can do when a friend is sensitive and supportive, uh, David, what would you say over there? David Alonso? What would you say over there? Remember that there are the more than one, maybe it's, uh, like I said, it's a matter of opinion. I'm not checking if it is good or wrong. I'm just checking that you say something. Uh, uh -huh, Daniela, Mercedes? It makes me happy when my friend is sensitive and supportive. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because you help each other. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Or even, can you say I love it also? Yes or no? No, but not, it don't bother me. Ah, okay, okay. So, but the one that makes me happy is good. And the last one, because of the time. When people threw trash on the ground, my God. I don't like it. Ah, uh, yes, one possibility. I don't like it. Uh huh. It really upset me. It really upset me. That's happened to me. <laughs> it really upset me. Or it's bothered me. It bothered me. Or I can't. I don't like it. Uh -huh. I don't like it. I can't stand it. It really upset me. But I can stand it as well. But you see, this is uh, different things. But let me show you a chart that I didn't do yesterday. The word order that we use. What is the uh, the correct order of these sentences? And refreshing. And please, so look over there. It says, I can't stand it when I'm upset. I don't like it when someone threw the trash on the on the street. So, what is the order position? Uh, uh, the the order of this one. Okay, I'm sorry that I just copied and down from there. So we have uh, the clause with it. It has a subject. It has a verb. And it has uh, the, the subject it. And then the adverbial phrase are close with when, okay? It has when plus subject, which is am, um, someone, people, and then the verb. This is the word order that from the thing that you, could you please write it down uh, because one of the things that uh, many people do not believe is that um, notebooks and writing, taking notes, it helps a lot learning a language. Please uh, uh, take notes, okay? 
You can go through the video and watch it, but uh, why to do that? Uh, take notes of, uh, or at least of the, of the, of the word order of, of this phrase over there. I see that a few of you are taking notes, so others I cannot see you because your cameras are off. Please help me with that. I'm begging you with your cameras. Uh, we're missing two students today. Okay, let me know when I can. We can continue, guys. Okay, okay. Thank you, Glendy. It's okay for me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, the topic for today, guys, the snapshot. What is it? Uh, best jobs on personality type. What is the learning objective? Uh-huh. Discuss opinions on various jobs. On various jobs. Okay, discuss opinions on various jobs. Let's see in El Salvador. Let's talk about uh, which jobs are the most common nowadays. Uh, write it on the chat. Which ones are most common? And then uh, two, uh, one, two, or three of you can participate uh, through the mic. Write it on the chat. Which ones are the most common? Okay, I got a comment. <laughs> okay, yeah, wait a waitress, a teacher. Please, uh, even though you say you you say the same thing, write it. Sales car, ah, sales car, lawyer. Yeah, doctor. In fact, today I was talking about uh, um, one of my students, he's studying medicine, chef, nurse, okay. Mm -hmm. Stylist, yes, constructor. Okay, good. And now, which jobs are disappearing? Do we have any jobs that is disappearing? Which ones are, could you mention then? If it is possible on the chat. Ah, uh, construct, ah, uh, bus driver. Yes, a bus driver, maybe not in El Salvador, but in other countries, yes. Especially with technology, uh, uh, how do you call it? Intelli intelligence artificial. Yes, why not? 
Good. Excellent, guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's see what I got to do. I got another one. App, uh, call center. Yes, in a call center. And um, what do call centers require? Someone can work, uh, participate through the microphone? What call centers require? Can someone participate through the microphone? Mm -hmm. What do they require? Huh? Yes, Saul? What call center re require? require. Uh -huh. What do they require? Uh, I saw, I saw uh, very, very, com very, oh, sorry, many commercial of uh, telas and. Mm -hmm. No, but I require. Uh, uh -huh, yes, good, good. Your answer is good. Okay. Because the idea, the objective is for you to talk to me uh, and to the rest of the people. Uh -huh. and, but uh, require, what skills do you need to have? Uh, uh, oh. to 85% in, in level English. I yeah. think we need to speak and listen. You need to speak English, and you need writing. to listen. And, yes, and there is a there is a percentage, uh, is that I guess it was you? Uh, I reading in the Facebook. Uh -huh. Only. <laughs> ah, uh, okay. What? Yeah, and in a call center, it is uh, it required to eighty and ninety percent to speak English to um to get a job. Ah, to get a job. And what is eighty ninety percent? What do you think is eighty ninety percent? Which level uh do they require? If it is eighty ninety, high stress support. Ah, okay, Advanced. yes. Advanced, Advanced, yes. It depends, right? But have you, uh, any of you have experience on working on call center? Not yet. Not yet, but uh, you will. <laughs> yes, I am. But, In the future. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, Francisco? Yeah, uh, I work in the call center for the Spanish because uh, for the emergency. For ah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's that. They say that is a good experience. I never work over there, even though. Well, I, I am. Uh, I work in a call center, really, but but no, not take calls. Uh, I work in a reception, actually. Uh, ah. but in 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 that call center is are required to to have a 80 90 percent to to speak english it's like uh well um speak and and translate very well yes. and mm -hmm. you 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 need to have knowledge about uh medical system and something like that, I think. Yes, yeah, it depends on the call center, but good, anyway. And uh, uh, that's why it's really important, you know, um, that I uh, thank you for sharing with us and uh, good English. I need to uh, see your level of English. Well, no, I'm not evaluating you guys, okay? So, but please talk to me and thank you for the ones that participate, okay. Um, there are some best jobs based on personality types, okay? So, for example, I believe that my, what I do, it's, um, it's my personality type because um, even though I look serious uh, when I'm not working, so I'm an easygoing person. I la I'm being like a very talkative. And especially if you teach in a language, that's the, the goal point. So the first, uh, the first art, artist type, artist type, uh, what is the, uh, the personality based on? Uh, 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 please raise your hand. And, and as you raise your hands, I will help me um, reading the, the artists, artistic types. I need participations.
Just read it. You say, okay, Mr. Lopez, artistic types are uh, like working with designs of parents. So that will be a, what kind of job? Okay, Francisco, uh, we finished this one and you help me with investigate types, okay? Thank you, Francisco. So what are the the the, the types of these uh, artistic types? Uh-huh. Just closing designer and architect. closing designer and architect. Architect. Okay, Francisco, investigate a type. Investigate type like figuring out problem. Example, veterinary pharmacists, pharmacists. Ph pharmacists, pharmacists. Pharmacy. Yes. And remember that veterinarian, and instead of veterinarian, you can say just vet. Okay. And it's acceptable. Yes. Okay. Because figuring life out problems, because animals have problems, people have problems. So the vet needs to see what's the problem over there. Someone else, raise your hand, please. Hell, hell over here. Okay. Daniela Mercedes, good. Conventional types, like a following instruction and routine, like a air traffic control, controller and accountant. Yes, and you need to like, uh, okay, Isaura, your next one. Next one. Um, you need to be, uh, uh, you need to be very, how do you say, uh, give good instructions. Because uh, if you see the news last week, there was a crash between two planes. Uh, they didn't say why, but it must be a wrong direction. Okay, Isaura, is uh, realistic types. Realistic types, like working outside or with real work materials, restaurant cook, but bus driver. Uh-huh, okay. So these are the working outside, people who write restaurants, and cook and bus driver. Someone else, raise your hand. Uh huh. Uh, Sylvia, thank you very much, Sylvia Tatiana. Uh, uh, enterprising. Enterprising ties like leading people and making decisions, like attendant, lawyer. Yes, and leading people, making decisions. Thank you. And uh, like fly attendant and a lawyer. Someone else, the last one? Thank you, Saul. Alexander? Social types. Social types like working with another people, high school coach, uh -huh. child care worker. Yes, high school coach, like, okay, and child care worker. Yes, okay, this is, uh, do you identify with, with any of this? Uh huh. Do you identify with any of these jobs? What is the best uh, uh, type personality type for you? Uh, I, I am reality with uh, realistic types. Realistic types. Okay, realistic type is uh, uh, a restaurant cook or a chef and bus driver. Uh, uh, people who works outside, not just that one. Good. Someone else? Okay, and on the chat, right? Which ones do you identify with? Which one, with which type is best for you, according to your personality? Okay, write it on the chat, please. I'm waiting. Aha, uh -huh, I got one. Price type for me. Okay, so that is a lawyer. Uh, what type is it? 
Ah, investigate type, teacher. Ah, <laughs> okay. You like to work with people. You will need to take decisions. Okay, good. And uh, investigate, I guess, social types. And what is the social type? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, like working with other people. Okay, great. Restaurant cook, but try be working outside. Mm -hmm. Giselle, thank you, Lindy. Fly attendant. Okay, great. So I guess you had identified with this one, right? So me uh, talking about Mr. Lope, original was the investigate types. Because at the beginning, I wanted to be veterinarian, vet. But it was not possible. In fact, at the high school that I did, my high school diploma is not related with English or with accountant or with other. It's related with agricultural. So, and you will say, Mr. Lopez, what are you doing here? Well, here I am with social types. And I feel very comfortable about it, being with you guys. Yes? <laughs> Okay, good, excellent. Okay, these questions are the most uh, the, the jobs that are in Moscow and in El Salvador, okay? Well, I have a question over there. It says that, uh, that, um, that uh, if you have an opportunity for a different job, the one that I'm doing now, what would you like to do? For example, me, I just mentioned that at the beginning, I wanted to be a vet, but it was not possible. Mm, family th issues, country's issues, and anything. But um, I feel very comfortable being a teacher. But if I have the opportunity, I would like to take vet to be a vet. What about you? I'm not saying that you don't like your job. I'm saying that if you had the opportunity, please write it on the chat. Remember that there are two ways to communicate, one in an order way and another one in through the chat. Okay, don't make me wait because we have many things to do. Ah, fly attendant. Good job. Travel around the world. Actress, artist, or singer. <laughs> Good, excellent. And you know, being a, an artist is not that easy. Um, why do I know? Because I had the opportunity to work with many people, singers, especially singers, groups, because uh, I live a couple of years back in there in San Francisco, California and I have the opportunity to work with them. It's not an easy, easy job. Pilot, uh, teachers, ah, uh, okay, a coach. Uh-huh, good. Okay, let's continue, why it's because we are. Okay, what is the snapshot? Uh, there is, a, there is, I have some, uh, some vocabulary for you to remember that we need to increase our English by knowing voc uh, vocabulary. This vocabulary is from a snapshot. Regarding to jobs, a stability. What is a stability? What would be a stability for you? A definition. Any idea? Should be, should be a bit is stability. Yes. Establishment. Yes. Be in the same place. Okay, get a job and be there. Maybe not for life, but well, if I say for good. Yes, it's for good. So this is a, a short definition. The quality has not been likely to change or move. Okay, that's a stability. I'm sorry that I didn't change color. It's kind of red over there. But it's, uh, so the other words is perhaps. What is perhaps? Very use, very common word. Even. Even. 
Possibility, yes. Thank you. Another? Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. That's Possibly. another. Possibility. Maybe. Even. Yes. It can be possible. The other By word, the way. Uh, I'm sorry? By the way. By the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it depends on the words that you use, but it's possible. A uh, picture. What is a picture? Imagine. Imagine, good, and applause, and applause. Imagine. Friends. Uh, okay, a friend. Okay, for example, when I'm preparing the class, I picture this moment. Okay, I imagine, well, if I do this one, the class will be door, I will be this way. So imagine something in a particular way. So when I prepare my classes, I picture the class. I see you guys. I, I had to be able to see you react, uh, the way that you react. Environmentalists. We're talking about jobs and words that is possible to use on that one. Environmentalists. You're mentally healthy? They're okay, yes. I'm <laughs> my own company, yes. Exactly. Okay. Yes, that's one possibility. Uh, and what is environmental? If we uh, take the is out, what is environmental? If we would take the last three letters. Well, stay with environment and what it is. is so, the core, the core. Yes, someone who tries to protect. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, to protect people who likes to protect the envi natural environment being damaged. Yes. Exactly. And the last one, stock broker. What is a stock broker? You will see a picture later on. In a few moments. A stop broker. Can you read it? Who do people buy and sell? Uh... Uh, uh, buy and sell stocks and sharing in companies. Like in New York, they had it called the today uh, for the crypto monedas. Yes, uh, exactly. A star broker is uh, like the people who works on, on Wall Street in New York. Okay, so these are these are some the, um, some voca useful vocabulary that we that is really important to know. Stability, the quality of being likely uh, to change or move. Perhaps possibility, another very synonym that you. Use, uh, I guess one of you say, girl, is maybe picture. Okay, take notes of this word because it, it will be helpful for you. Meanwhile, I will I will check the attendance that I can. Uh, Meanwhile, you take notes of it. I will check the attendance. Uh, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Present. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Uh, Daniela Mercedes Mendez. Present. Thank you. Uh, David Alonso Mejia Flores. Present. Eda Lisset Pineda Guevara. Eda. 
eh, Francisco Alexander uh, Alexander Villal Villafuerte Flores. Present teacher. Glendy Elis Eliseth Flores Ramírez. Present. Eh, Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Eh, eh, Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano Esquizabal. Marco Antonio. Luis. Ah, no, ya, ya Luis. Ah, Natalie Rebeca Peña Valiente. Present teacher. Eh, eh, Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Nubia. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Rebeca Ionel Hernández Castellanos. Rebeca. Rebeca Paola Granados Iglesias. Present teacher. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez González. Renato. Cruz Marielo Samaya de, de Guardado. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. Y Silvia Tatiana Acosta Hernández. Silvia Tatiana. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Okay. Continue. Let me see. Can we continue? Yes. Okay. If someone hasn't finished taking notes, so okay, guys. So here we have uh, here we have a uh, sound uh, perspective. What is the what is the objective? The learning objective. Agree or disagree with the statements about jobs, okay? Let me play the audio and see if you are able to listen. Are you able to listen? No. No, no. okay. Uh, let me, one minute. Now I know how to do it. <laughs> okay. Exercise two. Perspectives. Now, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, I will be sharing uh, from next week on the audios. Okay. In fact, we'll uh, I'll share it uh, at the right moment where you need to work in pairs on small groups and everything. Career debate. Part A. Listen to the people talk about jobs. Do you agree or disagree? Check the speaker you agree with more. Being a flight attendant sounds very exciting. Flying all the time would be fun. But flight attendants get tired of traveling. They spend most of their time in airports. Designing clothes is not a man's job. Women are much more fascinated by fashion. That's not true. Many great clothing designers are men. Just look at Calvin Klein. I'd enjoy working with animals. I think working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. I'm not so sure. Animals can be very unpredictable. Getting a dog bite would be scary. I'd like to work in the television industry. Directing a TV show would be really interesting. I disagree. Working in front of the camera as an actor would be much more satisfying. Okay, look at the statements over there. Okay, um, 
For example, number one, design clothes is not a man's job. Uh, women are much more fascinated by this fashion. Who can read number two? Raise your hand, please. It's just reading. Uh, okay, David. And then is Saura number uh, three. David number two uh, is Saura number three. Saura number four. Okay, number two. Not so. Many great clothing designers are men. Just look at how they find. Okay, number three. I would love to fly all the time. Being a fly attendant sounds exciting. Yeah, and number four. I guess it was Saul, right? I don't think so. Fly attendant get tired of traveling. They have to be away from their families all the time. Okay, number five. Who wants to read number five? Number, uh, number five, raise your hand. Number five. Raise your hand, please. Oh, it's Isabel, number five. Thank you. Then Silvia, number six. Number seven. Who wants to read number seven? Isabel, number five. Silvia, number six. Okay, Isabel, read number five. Okay. I like to work for a newspaper, but writing a gossip column seems like an awful job. Okay, good. A gossip. What is a gossip? I, I'm asking everyone, uh, all of you. What is uh, a gossip? Boring or very hard. Yes, okay. Handle. Okay. Another one? The words that you say are okay. Okay. But there is one that is like uh, a synonym. Exhausting. Uh, that's okay. Okay. And the word is like, uh, like whisper. It's like whisper, but uh, you say it. So, uh, you know, you call it in chisme. Okay. But good. It's a whisper. Okay, number seven, who wants to read number seven? I just asking you because this introduced the topic that we're going to be talking in, in, in about a minute. Okay, number, uh, uh, Miko. Okay, go ahead. I don't agree, fading out about famous people. People's life could be really fun. Okay, good. And the last one, please. Uh, okay, so, okay, go ahead. I'm not, sure. I'm not so sure. Animals can be very unpredictable. Unpredictable. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. Unpredictable. Get it by and by the dog will be scary. Ah, okay. Look at the, the composition, the word order of the statements, the way that are written. Okay, so so um so and that's the topic that we're saying. So in other words, we'll be using this one. Okay, the grammar. Look, gerund phrases are subjects, and then we have gerund phrases as objects. Okay, what is the what? Look at the first sentence. Designing clothes is not a man's job. What is designing clothes in the sentence? What is the object? 
subject. The subject. Oh. Yes. Oh. It, it doesn't matter the level that you use in that you, you speak, but um, there is in English there is always a subject. And and what is is not a man's job. The complement. Uh huh. It's the complement. But I look at the other sentence. Is the gerund phrase? Is the object a man's job? So good. The complement or the rest. Uh, by the way, I would like to mention that uh, in our schools, for example, teachers used to say uh, verse, I mean, subject, verb, complement. Now, expert says subject, verb, the rest. Okay. In fact, we don't say simple past, we don't say sim uh, simple present, simple past, uh, past perfect. We say verb. Ver, ver one, mm -hmm. which is the simple present. Ver, ver one, two. Ver two, which is the simple past. And ver three, which is the past perfect, the, 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 the present perfect. Okay, so if you use uh, uh, him saying, oh, um, uh, ver one, I mean, he says simple present. Verb two, it's shorter. Okay, let's listen to it. Page nine, exercise three, grammar focus. Gerund phrases. Gerund phrases as subjects. Being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Designing clothes is not a man's job. Working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Directing a TV show would be interesting. Gerund phrases as objects. He'd love being a flight attendant. He wouldn't like being a fashion designer. She'd enjoy working with animals. She'd be good at directing a TV show. Okay, but Mr. Lopez, what is that? Examples? For example? For example? Read the example, please. Being a teacher yeah, is very rewarding. rewarding. Very rewarding. Why do you think it's very rewarding? Why do I feel like being a teacher is very rewarding? Why do you think it's very rewarding? Just wild guesses. Uh, write it on the chat, please. Because helpful. I need... Huh? Helpful? Yes, okay. Helpful, good. Okay, being helpful, be good. Uh-huh. Someone else? Another idea? Maybe Agi. Okay, good. Yes. Is it the way because you had the opportunity to uh, talk to different people, to work with different people, to help with different people, to care about different people? Hey, guys, even I'm not a, uh, we're not face to face. But uh, maybe one day I will have the opportunity to have another class with you. Now, Mr. Lopez, <laughs> no, it's not true. Um, so uh, we'll be caring about each other. You care about me, I care about you as a student. I wouldn't like being a teacher. Okay, so that's the other, the other, the, the other uh, gerund. Look at the gerund. Oops. Uh, what did I do? Um, uh, look at the gerund phrases, okay? So in other words, oh my God, what I did. You're still watching at, at the presentation, right? You're still looking at the presentation? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to, ah, it's here. Okay, a gerund can be a subject of a sentence. It's always singular. Use, that's why, use 
a third person singular verb after the gerund. Uh, so singular subject. What is singular subject? And what is the subject over there? Boating. Boating, yes. That's a singular. And that's why we use the is an important responsibility. And what is the subject? Choosing. Choosing. Choosing, but we are using the 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 ing form even though even though we are using the ing for is is still staying as a subject and then we have the rest as as i i mentioned a little while so how is this one in other words it's like this gerund phrases number one what is it As the subject of a sentence. Uh-huh. And the example that we got over there is? Being attendance. Uh-huh. Sounds exciting. So the subject is, in the gerund phrases, is being a fly attendant. Yeah. Yeah, guys. It sounds uh, not crazy, but it's not crazy. I mean, it's the way that we learn and, and improve our language. So the fly attendant is is uh is the the Hi. yes is the subject. Um, and look over there. A gerund can be an uh, can a. Uh, can be the object of the certain verbs. So the verb in this case is suggest and enjoy. So in that case, improving like the, the verb that we have over there is I suggest improving our school. I enjoy working with for the people. So that is a that is a gerund of object. And as an example too, as the object of the verb, he love, what is the gerund? And the, and the yeah. object? Fly attendant. Yeah, being a fly attendant, but in this case becomes the object, not the subject. What will be the subject in the sentence on the second one? He loves. He loves, exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. I hope not to get, uh, uh, I haven't got you confused. But if it's not, we will do the practice tomorrow. Okay. But uh, right now, take a note. I will uh, just take you like three minutes. I forgot to write the time that I will start, but I guess it was 9 1, right? I will take you, uh, I will dismiss you at 10.03. But meanwhile, please take notes of it, okay? Because this is not on, on the material. So, in, a year and in, in other words, we have uh, the word uh, composition is uh, a subject, a verb, an object. And then, like we say, the rest. I suggest improving our school. I enjoy working with people. Because when we use the, we use, uh, remember that when we use two verbs in a sentence, uh, most of the time we use infinitives. For, ex uh, for example, uh, um, and other times we use the ing. For example, I love working with people. So that would be an object. I enjoy working with people because love and enjoy is followed by uh, I ing form.
and there are not many birds that we we uh we can use it like that. Most of the time we use uh, the infinitive after the the first verb. Are you taking notes, guys? Two more minutes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the ones who helped me with the cameras, and I guess the rest will do it tomorrow. Thank you, people. I really appreciate that. And please remember that um, I'm not evaluating you if you're, uh, whatever you say is correct or incorrect. I just, the, the, my objective as a teacher is always have the students interact, talk. So that's what we'll be looking for more tools to talk about it. Oh, by the way, please work on the on the platform because tomorrow, if you have questions uh, or doubts, uh, not at the way that works the platform, as a, uh, the task that you do over there, the grammar forms or, or the vocabulary. If you if you have any doubts, so we can we can solve them if it is possible. Okay, uh, so please work on it. Okay, don't uh, don't. Wait until the last time, okay? Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here, great attendant, and I hope that I, I've been helpful with your English. Okay, good night. See you. Good night, teacher. Have a great good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Uh...